good morning and welcome to our patronal festival service for St. Hilda's Anglican Church in Georgeville. My name is Reverend Rosemary Madeira and present with us today is Reverend Lisbeth Tullock and lay minister Mrs. Claire Moody. Welcome to our service. On behalf of all of the Western churches, we are so grateful to be here to celebrate St. Hilda's Patronal Festival. Have a blessed Sunday. It's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. It's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Not at all, no, no, my sister, but it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Not at all, no, no, my sister, but it's me, oh Lord, Standing in the need of prayer. It's me, it's me, it's me, O oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. It's me, it's me, it's me, O oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. Not that I'm alone, I've got a lot of tea, O oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. Not my father, my father, but it's me, O Lord, standing in the need of prayer. It's me, it's me, it's me, O Lord, standing in the need of prayer. It's me, it's me, it's me, O Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Not my neighbor, but it's me, O Lord. Standing in the need of prayer, not a stranger on the hill, but it's me, O Lord. Standing in the need of prayer, it's me, it's me, it's me, O Lord. Standing in the need of prayer, it's me, it's me, it's me, O Lord. Standing in the need of said to me, Let us go to the house of the Lord. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. And blessed be his kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed Lord and Father, we have assembled in your name and in fellowship with one another. Enable us by your grace to offer the sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, to proclaim and respond to your holy word. Teach us to pray for your world and your church. Grant that we, confessing our sins, may worthily offer to you our souls and bodies as a living sacrifice and eat and drink of your spiritual food in this holy sacrament. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires know, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen.
The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Blessed Lord, who caused all holy scriptures to be written for learning, grant us so to hear them, read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest them, that we may embrace and ever hold fast the blessed hope of everlasting life which you have given us in our Savior Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please join me as we pray the collect for St. Hilda. O God of peace, by whose grace the Abbess Hilda was endowed with gifts of justice, prudence, and strength, to rule as a wise mother over the nuns and monks of her household and to become a trusting and reconciling friend to leaders of the church. Give us the grace to respect and love our fellow Christians with whom we disagree, that our common life may be enriched and thy gracious will be done. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee, and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. First reading. A reading from the Word of God, written in the book of Judges, the fourth chapter, beginning at the first verse. The Israelites again did what was evil in the sight of the Lord, after Ephraim died. So the Lord sold him into the hand of King Jabin of Canaan, who reigned in Hazer. The commander of his army was Sisera, who lived in Harashit Hagorn. Then the Israelites cried out to the Lord for help. He had 900 chariots of iron and had oppressed the Israelites cruelly 20 years. At that time, Deborah, a prophetess, wife of Lachida, was judging Israel. She used to sit on the palm of Deborah between Ramah and Bethel in the hill country of Ephraim, and the Israelites came up to her for judgment. She sent and summoned Barak, son of Abinoam from Kedesh in Neptune, and said to him, The Lord, the God of Israel, commands you, Go, take position at Mount Tabor, bringing 10,000 from the tribe of Naphtali and the tribe of Zebulun. I will draw up Sisera, the general of Jabin's army, to meet you by the Wadi Kishon with his chariots and his troops, and I will give into him your hand. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Psalms appointed for today is Psalms 123. To you I lift up my eyes, to you enthroned in the heavens. As the eyes of servants look to the hand of their, of their masters, and the eyes of a maid to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God, until he show us his mercy. Have mercy upon us, O Lord, have mercy. For we have had more than enough of contempt, too much of the scorn of the indolent rich, and of the derision of the proud. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A reading from the Word of God, written in 1 Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, beginning at the first verse. Now concerning the times and the seasons, brothers and sisters, you do not need to have anything written to you. For you yourselves know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. When they may say, there is peace and security, then sudden destruction will come upon them, and labor pain comes upon a pregnant woman. And there will be no escape. But you, beloved, are not in darkness for that day to surprise you like a thief. For you are all children of the light and children of the day. 
we are not of the night or of darkness. So then, let us not fall asleep as others do, but let us keep awake and be sober for those who sleep, sleep at night and those who are drunk, get drunk in the night. But since we have belonged to the day, let us be sober and put on the breastplate of faith and love and for a helmet the hope of salvation. For God has destined us not for wrought, but for obtaining salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us. So that whenever we are awake or asleep, we may live with him. Therefore, encourage one another and build up each other as indeed you are doing. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks. Five talents came forward, 
bringing five more talents, saying, Master, you handing over to me five talents. See, I have made five more talents. His master said to him, Well done, good and trustworthy slave. You have been trustworthy in a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Enter into the joy of your master. And the one with the two talents also came forward saying, Master, you handed over to me two talents. See, I have made two more talents. His master said to him, Well done, good and trustworthy slave. You have been trustworthy in a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Enter into the joy of your master. Then the one who had received the one talent also came forward saying, Master, I knew that you were a harsh man, reaping where you did not sow, and gathering where you did not scatter seed. So I was afraid, and I went and hid your talent in the ground. Here you have what is yours. But his master replied, you wicked and lazy slave, you knew, did you, that I reap where I did not sow and gather where I did not scatter? Then you ought to have invested my money with the bankers, and on my return, I would have received what was my own with interest. So take the talent from me and give it to the one with the ten talents. For to all those who have more will be given, and they will have an abundance. But from those who have nothing, even what they have will be taken away. As for this worthless slave, throw him into the outer darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ our Lord. Welcome Holy Spirit, we are in your presence.
ran out to the kitchen and got a grain of rice and brought it back and said, here, Father, here's the grain of rice. He said, very good. Thank you. It was the fourth daughter that said, Father, I don't have the grain of rice. He said, you don't? And she said, no, Father, I studied the grain of rice while you were gone, and I thought about it, and I realized one day that it was a seed. So I planted it, and it grew this beautiful field of rice, and so harvested it, and got some more seed, and well, come take a look, Father. And she took him over to the window, and as far as his eye could see was these beautiful fields of rice, plenty of rice, enough to feed everyone in the kingdom. So of course, you know who he chose for his successor and to rule the kingdom. Now when I was thinking about this story and about our talents and gifts and what we do with them, I thought, you know, the first daughter admired the gift much as we admire other people's gifts. Oh, don't they sing beautifully or do something beautifully, yet we don't offer our own gifts. The other put it in a wooden box so that it would, wouldn't get stolen. In other words, she had some gifts, but she kept it to herself. She didn't share it. The third daughter, of course, just threw away her gift didn't even bother to use it. But it was the fourth daughter that discerned what her gifts were and offered her gifts up so that this beautiful field of rice could feed many people. She multiplied her gifts. And I think that's a great story for us and a great way for us to think about our own talents and gifts during the Stewardship Month. And I think it's also a great thing for us to think about during these new confirmation classes, during the new way that our diocese is seeing confirmation, that it is a mature discipleship. It is a mature, intentional way to discern what gifts that you have, what gifts that you may offer God and His church, how can you intentionally be a part of the life of the church and share the wonderful gifts that God has given you to grow His kingdom, to make beautiful fields of rice to feed everyone. Talents and gifts change over the years. And so you may have one now, and it may not be that you don't have it in the future, but maybe another emerges. And that's the importance of discernment, constant discernment throughout your life. What gifts has God given you? What talents has God given you to share with this church? And which daughter will you be? Power of the Holy Spirit, 
He was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father in come again from the Father, with the Father and the Son, He is worshipped and glorified, He has spoken through the prophets, we believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Form B, found on page 107 in the Book of Common Prayer. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church, that we all may be one. Grant that every member of the Church may truly and humbly serve you, that your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons, that they may be faithful ministers of your word and sacrament. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nation of this world, that there may be justice and peace on the earth. Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake, that our works may find favor in your sight. Have compassion on those who suffered from any grief or trouble, that they may be delivered from their distress. Give to the departed eternal rest. Let light perpetual shine upon them. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom. Let us pray for our needs and for those of others. We pray for Ismail Rekena, William Hope, Bishop Lawrence Nicasio, Norma Gentle. Brenda Gabriel, Anna Mae Ferguson, Beth Sanchez, Father Constancio Perez, Reverend Mario Moreira, Lena Williams, Maud Williams, Elsie Evans, Cordelia Gardner, Leolyn Clare, Jean Longsworth, Dorothy Budram, Lena Simmons, Hilda Mencias, Lincoln Bailey, Beryl Fairweather, Gwyneth Gillett, Betty Fairweather, Aaron Harms, Cynthia Gibbs, Ambrose Peters, Margaret Gab McKenzie, Lincoln Gillett, Wilma Anthony, Louisa Wright Gill, Joyce Wade, Alma Wade, Father Eric and Verilyn Richards, Rene Villanueva Sr., Ellison Flowers, George Bahadur, Pearl Stewart, Lady Norma Young, Elsie Garcia, 
Dr. Kenrick and Mrs. Marlene Leslie, Catherine Flowers, Julianne Williams, Glenn Tillett, Beverly Ferguson, Karen Middleton, Dominique Rodriguez, and all those for whom we offer our prayers. May God's healing grace and mercy be with all our sisters and brothers. We thank God for those who have and are receiving recovery because of such divine grace. We continue to pray for God's protection through the remainder of this hurricane season. We pray for the wars between Israel and Hamas and between Ukraine and Russia. Remember all those caught up in these wars, those who have been killed, injured or captured. Remember their families and pray for peace and goodwill to prevail. We also pray for those who have died, especially Morris, Coleman, Goodwin, Moody, and all those we love and will miss. May they rest in peace. We ask for the consolation and strength of God's Holy Spirit to be with their families at this time. Whatever may be your need, know that God's loving presence and grace are sufficient to see you through. God be the glory great things he has done. Amen. Almighty God, to whom our needs are known before we ask, help us to ask only what accords to your will and to the good things which we dare not ask or in our blindness cannot ask. Grant us for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us therefore confess our sins. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We have not loved ourselves as we ought. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your way and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We are the body of Christ. By the one spirit we are all baptized into one body and have all been made to drink of the one spirit. Let us then pursue the things that make for peace and build up the common life. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you.
Father, our sacrifice of thanks and praise, send your Holy Spirit on these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Redeemer. As we partake of the holy food of new and unending life, may your Holy Spirit establish us as a royal priesthood with the blessed Saint Hilda, Saint Andrew, Saint Barnabas, Saint Anne, Saint Agnes, and all your sons and daughters who share in your eternal inheritance. Jesus Christ our Lord, with him and in him and through him, by the power of the Holy Spirit, we worship you, Father Almighty, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. And now as the Father has taught us, so we pray. God, 
in union with Christian people throughout the world and across the centuries, gathered to make Eucharist, hearing your holy word and receiving the precious body and blood of your dear Son, I offer you praise and thanksgiving. Even though I am currently not partaking of the bread of heaven and drinking the cup of life, I pray that you will unite me with all the baptized and with your Son who gave his life for us. Come, Lord Jesus, dwell in me and send your Holy Spirit, that I may be filled with your presence. Amen. Let us silence and tongues employ, reaching out with a shout of joy. Bread is spoken, the wine is poured, Christ is spoken and seen and heard. Jesus lives again, live and breathe again, as the word around hopes about. Jesus lives again, live and breathe again, as the word around hopes about. Christ is able to make us one, as is able he sets the tone, teaching people to live to bless, loving word and indeed express. Jesus lives again, lift and breathe again, as the words around hopes about. Jesus lives again, lift and breathe again, as the word around hopes about. Jesus pulls us in, sends us out, bearing fruit in the world of doubt. Gives us love to tell, work to share, what Emmanuel everywhere. Jesus lives again, live and breathe again, as the word around hopes about. Jesus lives again, live and breathe again, as the word around hopes about. Almighty and ever living God, we thank you for feeding us with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and for assuring us in these holy mysteries that we are living members of the body of your Son and heirs of your eternal kingdom. And now, Father, send us out to do the work you have given us to do to love and serve you as faithful witnesses of Christ our Lord. To him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. God give you grace to follow his saints in faith and hope and love. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Birthday greetings this week go out to Meshach McCoy, Liam Pitzel, Laverne Williams, Horace Gill, Terrace Wright, Reverend Chitan Darling, Candice Page. Raquel Battle, Edward Broston, Rene Trujillo, Luan Daniels, Sandy Bradshaw, Amy Smith, Honorable Carolyn Trent Sandiford, Roland Flowers, Jonathan Kinsberg, Nassim Clare, Miley Antonio, Aaron Wright, Philip Smith, Marissa Date, Gillian Wilder, Ebony O'Brien, Arvin Craig, Amika Joseph, Gerard Jackson, Lisa Fevec, and Rose Peters. May God continue to richly bless and keep each, every one of you. Happy anniversary as well to all those who are celebrating anniversaries of marriage, ordination, even the passing of a loved one, or any other memorable occasion. May God's gracious presence be what sustains and keep, keeps each and every one of you. We're reminded that St. John's Cathedral presents its sixth annual Advent to Christmas concert at St. John's Cathedral here in Belize City on 
December 2nd, 2023, starting at 7 p.m. Contribution of $20 is being asked. Jesus, the light of joy, love, peace, and hope. Reminded, St. John's Cathedral, 6th Annual Advent to Christmas Concert, December 2nd, 2023, starting at 7 p.m. Contribution, $20. See you there. We thank our extraordinary God during these liturgical ordinary times for the continued joy and peace he brings to our lives. We thank all those who read lessons and participated in this morning's service. Mrs. Joyce Hall, Mrs. Antoinette jones Grajeda, Mrs. Claire Moody for reading this morning. We also give thanks to Mr. Hakeem Arnold for leading the prayers of the people. To Mrs. Yvonne Sweet, right from the Sweet Chorale, the Diocesan Online Music Team for their music. Dr. DeShield and Mrs. Miss Lowe for their music and the members of the Diocesan Online Team. Thanks to love of them for carrying this service for us. Do get in touch with us if you are interested in participating in our service. Contact our Diocesan Head Office at phone number 227-3029 or 227-8055 or the WhatsApp number at 626-1821. You can also email us at bcediocese at btl.net. Once again, a blessed Sunday to one and all. Do have a wonderful and productive week. Oh, when the time